Is everybody up for a more horrible, horrible failure? I know you are. Case in point. Ah, <laughs> oh, I got the feeling that I didn't even move the cursor around like I should have. I probably should lower the volume because it is kind of the crack of dawn. Yeah. All right. With gusto. Uh, hmm. All that for the exit, anyways. But it's not the real exit, is it? Of course, of course not. Uh, well, doesn't that look inviting? <laughs> yeah, now that I think about it, wasn't that thing up there? Oh, here it is. I think. Yes! Here it is. I think this is just about the only thing you can do with the stars, is play this little betting game. Always bet on the Warners. So I guess I'll just show you how this thing runs, then uh, pause it, play the rest of the way, and uh, yeah, get back to the game. But for this round, who wins? Always been on the waters. <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably gonna be at this for a while. So let me just pause this real quick, and we'll get back to the game after I run out of, or get bored, or whatever. <laughs> okay, this is just getting monotonous. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much how it goes. And I guess you bet stars, win stars, and get one ups and whatnot. But. Uh, unless you get dot like a maniac, that's not really gonna help you, and especially if you, uh, bet, I always like, don't bet on everybody, or you bet double all the time, so, enough of that, back to the main game. Still, it's a fun little distraction if you can, uh, bother with it. And the music's pretty cool, too. I always like the, uh, win and lose, or, that music, yeah. What the heck? Ah, where'd you come from? Frickin' traps. Move, move. Something tells me I didn't think this thing quite through. Oh wow. I <clears throat> have to go the other way. Or something, I don't know. Far enough. Oh, that's pretty funny. I can't remember if it was an Animaniacs episode that that was uh, part of, or Pinky and the Brain, since they did have their own series. Anyways, the, uh, the betting game isn't the only thing that also takes a while during this, uh, during this level. There's also a part in the, uh, net. Yeah, that wasn't timed at all. There's also part of the next part of the stage where you have to put up with Ralph, and he's like, he's on one of those hand carts. He's flinging pies at you, you have to fling them back to him, and it takes a while because there's no. I haven't really discovered a surefire way to hit him. Alright. God, this game is more puzzle solving than I remember. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't I figured out a surefire way to hit him, so if it comes down to it, I'll probably just uh, edit the video in Vegas or something. But this level. This level does house my favorite boss battle in the game, because uh, it's a chase, and I'm a sucker for chases. Well, I can't say the same for Chase Meridian. <laughs> Anyways. Wait, I remember now. <laughs> 
It's like in Chaos Legion. It's all come back. I remember everything. It was these hands that... <laughs> See you, Law. Ah, uh, man, that game is old. Obscure, too. Ah, oh, here it is. It, yeah, so, like I said, if this, take, if this takes forever, I'm just gonna edit the video. Like, uh, speed it up. But, at the same time, I should probably stop talking, so, uh... Yeah, let's just shush for a while. And we'll only know for sure if the when the edit when the video was posted if this took forever or not. So here we go. Took a while, but it didn't take all that long. Hmm. Well, I'm already at full health, so I don't know if it's worth the poor time getting it. So you know, I'm just gonna skip it. Yes, boss battle. It's all good. So yeah, this is my favorite boss battle. It makes pretty good use of the uh, the music. Get out of here. So for a good load of this stage, you'll be playing as Wacko, and you have to pretty much keep this train going and I think the whole gist of this is to time it so that Ralph misses his jump but at the same time if you can't do it rightly right you uh, end up paying the price severely as you can see because he just got you like no one's business So yeah, it's really about timing, but at the same time, you know... <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, you know, there's no denying that. It's, it's, it's still one of my favorite boss battles, you, especially as you see once, uh, once, you, once we get to the end. See, that's how you do it. That's pretty much the only way to fight Ralph. Ah! properly. But yeah, see, now he's just chugging along on his own power and you just gotta get to the end of the screen. And he's done for. Oh my. Wacko, this battle belongs to you. Amazed that I mean, actually actually managed to squeeze all that into the uh, the time limit, and this didn't take a million videos like the last few did. <laughs> oh, that Studio Three, as always, was one of my favorites. Boss battle lasted a lot longer than I uh, in the past, though. I tell you that much. I guess I'm just that bad, or that good, and I'm bad and good and whatever. <laughs> 
All right, another level down, another studio down. So, <clears throat> I guess that's the end of that short chapter. Now I will go to uh, edit these in Vegas, post them up on both YouTube and ScrewAttack, and I'll see y'all later for Studio Four. Hopefully, a lot quicker than Studio Three came out. Now that I'm back in the house. Take care, everyone.